Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine. And this is a tribute video to the legendary saxophonist Wayne Shorter, who recently passed away. And this video is dedicated to Wayne's family, friends, and all those who loved him. I always do these videos as if I'm talking to someone from the family. And I, I never want them to be like just a listing of stats and achievements, etc. I just can only talk from my own perspective of what the music means to me. And equally, I'm also very consciously aware of how for many young music fans, as we live in this period of popular music history, where so many famous musicians are passing over, that it can be overwhelming for younger music fans to, to keep up with all these names that you feel as if you should know about, and where should you start? And again, I'm not going to list lots of albums based on sales figures or anything. I, I can only list things that personally have touched me and might be a good place to start. And for those of you who are really uber when short fans, you may agree with me or not. But what I'm trying to do is just pay some respect to a wonderful musician whose music continues to enrich my life and many, many others. And for all those who may be through this video, who through or through streaming, are yet to discover or discovering the wonderful music that Wayne Shorter created. So for me, um, if I was going to start, this is, in a, is not in a chronological order. It's based on just what's in front of me, what I've quickly grabbed together, and the music that I listen to, possibly the most, that features Wayne's playing, really. Uh, I think the earliest one I have um, that I play the most is Speak No Evil on Blue Note Records, which is from 1960, uh, when is it? 1964, which is a classic uh, Blue Note jazz album. But the one I probably pe uh, play the most often, I guess, uh, is from Miles Davis, and there are tons of um, Wayne Shorter performances in with Miles Davis's career. Um, but this one has also been picked by Chris Wright. Now, Chris Wright is a wonderful collaborator for Now Spinning Magazine, and he's appeared on some of my podcasts, and he writes lots of reviews for the website. And he has also picked this album as um, one, of the, one of the albums that is a go-to one, really. And we picked it for similar reasons, because it, it's very accessible, and if you like Miles Davis kind of blue, it's kind of got that kind of vibe to it. Um, and Chris's um, tribute is on the Now Spinning magazine website, and I'll put a link to it below this if you're watching it on the website, you're actually on the page, but it'll be in the description as well. And Chris points out that um, his playing on this album was probably best um, summed up by a track called Iris, which is um, Wayne Shorter's own composition. And Chris says it's a piece of absolute remarkable fluidity and wonderful interplay between himself and Miles Davis and a high watermark in hard bop jazz. And it is. So that's ESP by Miles Davis. I'm going to stay with Miles Davis for my next um, pick, and it's um, Illa Silent Way, which is a wonderful jazz fusion album. If you think you don't like jazz, or you, you're not sure about where to start with Miles Davis, this is a wonderful entry point. Um, it's literally two dreamy, floaty, improvisational, um, spiritual pieces of music. And it's, um, it's certainly one of my favourite Miles Davis albums. It's certainly in there with the, in, the, in my top top three, actually, I would say. Um, Jack Johnson will be another one, and also Kind of Blue, I guess, uh, at the moment. Um, but it's, it's fantastic, and again, it's a wonderful doorway into this world of these classic musicians, and also, you know, Coltrane would be in here as well, um, as with many others, but, um, you know, absolutely fantastic. Where shall I go next? I'm going to land next on another one of Chris's choices, because uh, I know this is one of Chris's favourite artists, and it's Joni Mitchell, with an album that, you know, people either 
you know, find very accessible or, or don't. And it's Don Juan's um, Reckless Daughter. And um, Chris has picked um, a track called Paprika Plains off this, which is 16 and a half minutes long. It takes up the whole of uh, one side, so, um, side two actually. And and what he says here is, Paprika Plains is certainly the most ambitious song that Joni ever recorded in terms of both length and indeed scale. And the song is initially informed by her piano playing and grandiose orchestral arrangements. Start to reflect a dreamlike state. The song kind of drifts, but in an extremely engaging way. On first listen, you might think, just how is this going to end? The answer arrives almost exactly 13 minutes in with a joint weather report intervention by bassist Jaco Pastorius and Wayne Shorter that soon gives way to this wonderful soprano sax solo that essentially arrives to take us home in a calm yet still triumphant manner. Exquisite, says Chris. And it certainly is. And I would recommend, well I'd recommend that album anyway, but that track is a journey of exploration. Um, the Swing of Delight by Carla Santana, Wayne's also on that, and that's a wonderful, again, another jazz fusion album. And before I move on to the obvious place, um, it, which is going to be Weather Report, I'm going to just land with Herbie Hancock and VSOP. Um, and this is the album called The Quintet from 1977, which is Herbie Hancock, Freddie Hubbard, Wayne Shorter, Ron Carter and Tony Williams on drums. And it's absolutely superb album, it really is, live album. Um, just fantastic playing, timeless, timeless jazz. Um, really, really good album. There are more VSOP albums which you can find in the Herbie Hancock box set. Uh, I'll, I'll do separate features on these box sets at another time. So, um, Chris has obviously chosen um, for Weather Report, um, Heavy Weather, which is a wonderful album, especially with the track Birdland. Um, but for me, the go-to Weather Report album featuring Wayne Shorter is actually 8.30, the double live album, which finds the band at the height of its powers, really. Um, you know, the lineup, you know, here is just like the best Weather Report lineup and it's just it follows on from their finest albums really and i even bought this on i bought this on cassette and then on you know double cd um such was my fandom for it other weather report albums i recommend are tail spinning which is fantastic and this is one of the first albums i bought mysterious traveler from 1974 and i think that's i just love the cover it's what drew me in but the playing is just absolutely immaculate and the other one um, is Mr Gone um, that's another classic in fact I, that, that is one of the ones I had on vinyl uh, Mr Gone this is a promo copy I think yeah um, you know Jack Apostorius um, you know bass playing is fantastic um, that would be a video for another day but Wayne Short is playing on this is fantastic and and the one that I um, also love very much so is Black Market. Um, absolutely fantastic album. If you want to get more into Weather Report, these two CD sets are, um, are also available and they're a great way for you to literally collect 12 albums in one go. Um, but as I said, just to sum up, you know, the music from Wayne Shorter and everybody he's been with is timeless music. And the, when I grew up through rock music, I kind of veered away from it because there were no guitars, because Weather Report is a band with no guitars in it. And so I kind of steered away. But once I got into it and, and listened to some of the music, I was just pulled in, especially as I've got older, really. So in, in kind of summary, A Silent Way would be in there. This one, the Quintet VSOP. Um, Joni Mitchell, ESP by Miles Davis, and Speak No Evil. And for Weather Report, you can land anywhere, but I would definitely, definitely, um, you know, recommend 8.30, the double live album. So thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much for listening, and thank you for being here. And remember, music 
he's the healer and the doctor. And, you know, these are, these are difficult times when you see a tribute um, like this, I know. Um, but just play the music, go for a walk in nature, have your earbuds in, listen to the music, you know, tune it down to the sounds of the world around you and feel connected. Take care, all of you. And as I said, thank you for all of your support. And for everyone who is a fan of Wayne Shorter, your family, friends, and those of you who just who found this video and are coming back to comment on it a few months from now, welcome and thank you and take care. And I'll see you very soon.